Welcome to Chemistry Tutorial 360. Today we are going to find out the valence electrons of aluminum, right? So to find out the valence electron of aluminum, we have to look at the periodic table. So from periodic table, we see that the symbol for aluminum is Al and its atomic number is 13. This means that aluminum has 13 proton and 13 electrons, right? Protons, 13 protons and 13 electrons. Now we have to do the electronic configuration of uh, aluminum. That is, we have to distribute 13 electrons into different subshells or orbitals. So let's get started. So we'll use this diagram to find to to do the electronic configuration of aluminum. So let me write that. You know that a subshell can take maximum two electron, P subshell can take maximum six electron, D subshell can take maximum ten electron, and F subshell can take maximum fourteen electron. Remember, there is a difference between subshell and orbitals. However, so we have to place two electron over into one s then we have to take two s two s two then two p six so we, we have here six plus two eight ten right so after two p we have to take three s so 3s2 that is 12 after 3s we have to consider 3p so so we have to write 3p and we have to place here 1 as you know that uh, 2 plus 6 8 plus 2 10 plus 2 12 so we need one electron so we'll place here one right now we have to find out valency shell right by the value of principal quantum number you know that principal quantum quantum number is denoted by n so here the principal quantum number is one two three one two three so for valency shell we have to con consider the highest value of n so we will consider here 3 right so we are getting here 3s2 3p1 that is the electrons of valency shell are called valence electrons so we have here 2 plus 1 that is 3 so aluminum has three valency electrons I have a special blog post on the valence electrons of aluminum. You can read that blog post from the description box of this video. So thank you for viewing this video. Be well.